hi what is up YouTube thank you for tuning in today I'm gonna show you how you can uh, repair your HP laptop with a broken screen as you can see here so this has a damaged screen and a bad RAM stick so I have to do a clean reinstall but I wanted to recover the laptop because I didn't want to throw it away so how do we know that we are investing in a good computer if we can't boot it up the only solution is to use an external monitor which I have right here so I'll be using this monitor to install Windows 10 by the way this is the model number this RAM stick when I use it it gets really hot so I know there is something wrong with it I went ahead and took my gaming laptop apart removed the RAM and put them in here and here are my RAM sticks so we want to go ahead and uh, give it a try so if you have the same laptop you will notice that it does not support NVMe drives so you are only gonna go with SATA uh, SSD drives in order to use an external monitor you're gonna have to disconnect the built-in screen which I've already done right here this is the connector for it connect the laptop charger Our HDMI cable from the TV just like this and I have created a Windows bootable drive to the laptop USB port just right here we are not going to be able to uh, use our trackpad so we're going to have to use a mouse so I'm going to go ahead and connect a mouse just like this and then we are ready to boot it up so let's record the screen alright so now we're going to go ahead and press the power button and then we will press continuously the function key F10 until we see the BIOS hopefully you can see this alright so this is the BIOS escape to dismiss this we're gonna use the uh, directional keys on the keyboard to navigate the BIOS so you're gonna go to the boot options and here you're gonna go ahead and enable USB boot if this is disabled you cannot uh, install Windows from a flash drive so you're gonna enable this and then network boot we don't care about this you have legacy boot which is an uh, older uh, BIOS functionality that allows you to uh, install Vista XP and Windows 7 so in some cases you need to enable this in order to uh, install Windows we're gonna go ahead and leave this on disabled then we have secure boot and you're gonna also disable secure boot all right if this is enabled you may run into issues okay so then we're gonna go on the next step you have your boot order here we we can only modify UEFI boot order because legacy is disabled so we're gonna go ahead and use our keys F5 and F6 to uh, change the USB flash drive on top as you can see when you press F5 it's gonna bring it down and F6 it's gonna bring it up so you want USB flash drive to be the first boot option 
So when you start the computer, it's going to first try to boot from a USB flash drive before your hard drive. So this is what we need. So after you are done with all of this, you're going to go ahead and press F10. And then you will agree with the changes. Yes. And your computer will reboot automatically. All right. All right, so we are booted into the flash drive. And this is the Windows 10 installation window. If you have a loading screen that does not stop, you just have to be patient. It takes uh, some time to initialize your new RAM sticks. Again, we cannot use the trackpad. We have to use the mouse. So you have your language, etc. Next, install now. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and accept the license agreements. Next, and here I like to use custom, so it gives you a breakdown of your drives. And you can go ahead and simplify uh, your partitions. This is very useful, especially if you have many drives in the computer so I'm gonna delete all of these and now we have a single drive and we will let Windows create all the necessary partitions so we're gonna go ahead and click next and as you can see easy and straightforward from here, it's just a matter of waiting until this process is completed. All right, so we are now restarting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the flash drive. All right, so as you just saw, we just installed Windows 10 on a laptop without the screen, just by removing the screen and connecting the computer to a TV through HDMI. And you are able to install Windows uh, with no issues. So now I'm sure that the computer is working perfectly. So I can go ahead and uh, purchase a brand new screen along with new RAM sticks. So I can go ahead and put everything back together. And yep, the computer will be ready for use. All right, so welcome back. So we got the parts in the mail. Here is the RAM stick. And here is our replacement screen. So let's go ahead and unbox it. As you can see, all right. So 
So up on inspecting the screen, I found out that it is damaged. So as you can see on the corner right here, I will be returning this screen because it's broken. That's a bummer, but uh, yep, I gotta get this replaced. So since the screen is not good, we're gonna go ahead and uh, claim a new screen, but we can go ahead and put in the new RAM stick. This is it right here. Sixteen gigs of RAM. brand new but broken screen is functional but not usable so we're gonna go ahead and ship this back Alright ladies and gentlemen, after a little bit of waiting and uh, a back and forth with the seller, we finally got our replacement package. So let's go ahead and uh, inspect the box. Hopefully this one came in intact. I can already see a point of impact right here. Hopefully this wasn't hard enough to damage the screen. So let's go ahead and uh, unbox it. Hopefully we don't have no damage. so I think this looks good we don't have any damage so this time we made it so neat let's go ahead and uh, hook this up so let's go ahead and test the new screen The screen is 100% functional. All right, not a single problem, as you can see. So we can go ahead and put everything back together. goes right here
all right so just like that this computer is back in business ready to be used upgraded ram brand new screen so yep this is gonna be it for this video if you have any question please drop it in the comment section i'll do my best to answer thank you for watching and i will see you on my next video